Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to customize Shopify impact theme. So let us start. First thing that we should do is to open any of our web browser. And then using the search bar at the top, we just have to search for Shopify and then make sure to log into our Shopify store. Okay, so before going to the theme store, we just have to make sure that we have logged in to our Shopify. So next thing that we should do is we have to open a new tab. So right here, using the search bar at the top, you just have to type out Shopify theme store. And then when you click on enter, you'd be able to see this first website over here. So all you have to do is to simply click on this website. And then just wait for a couple of seconds and you'd be redirected to the page where you have to sign up for an account. So you just have to click on sign up and then you can log in with your Google. Okay, so you just have to use the same store and then once you're here, you'll be able to see these different themes. So now let us look for the impact theme. So you just have to use this search bar at the top. And then you just have to type out right here, impact. Okay, and then just have to click on enter and you'd be able to see this eight themes. Okay, so this is a paid theme. But don't worry because as long as we're not going to publish this one, we can customize this theme. So just have to click on it and then click on try theme. And then you just have to wait for a couple of seconds until this theme will be added to your Shopify store. Okay, so just wait for a while. So you just have to make sure that in order to publish this um, theme, so you have to pay for it. So you just have to click on buy. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to customize this one. Okay, so you'd be directed to your store after that. And then as you can see over here, when we scroll down, the impact theme is added to our store. So we just have to simply click on customize and we'd be directed to this page. So we can now start customizing. So at the top, we have this pages section. So here we have the homepage, we have the products, collections, collection list, and more. So let us just focus on customizing the home page. So as you can see right here at the left side, we have the different customization tools. So for the home page, we have the header group. So for the header group, we have the announcement bar. So when you click on announcement bar, we can now start customizing this one. So for example, we would like to enable the sticky bar. So when we scroll down, the, um, the announcement bar will stick to the top okay so for example i'm just going to enable this one and then you can also auto rotate between messages ignored when using the auto scrolling okay we can also change the messages every okay so we can adjust the uh the time here for example six seconds or 10 seconds and we also have the text size we also have here the scrolling speed and then we have the colors so if you want to change the colors you just have to simply click on it and then choose your color okay so next one is the um header okay so when we click on header if we would like to remove the header section we just have to simply click on this eye icon okay then for the overlay group, we have the newsletter pop up. So if you would like to enable this one, we just have to simply click on the eye icon and then you just have to do the rest. Okay. And then right here, we also have the template. So we have the side title. So for example, we would like to add our own image. So I just have to simply click on it. Okay. And then we have here select image option and then the explore free images. So let me just click on the explore free images. So right here, just have to uh, choose your image. Okay, so for example, this one. So when you click on your image, that image will be added here automatically. Okay. So maybe I'm just going to remove this image for now. Because it's consuming um, a huge space in my um, website. Okay, so right here, if you would like to um, add image also for the mobile view, we can also click on this explore the images or select images. So let us proceed to the next one. So for example, right here, um, I'll try to add a video for your reference. So let me just find the uh, video section. 
Okay, so right here. So for example, so before adding a video, let me just add here a mega menu. So you just have to simply click on it and your mega menu will be added automatically, okay? So right here, if you want to add a section, okay, so before adding a video, let me just add a section over here. Okay, so for example, you would like to add a new section and then just have to locate the video. Okay, so you just have to simply click on it and then you'd be able to upload here your own video or you can use your YouTube link. Okay, so just you can also um, customize here the visual result. So we had a full width and the rest. So to upload your video, you just have to simply click on the select video and then click on upload video. Okay, and then you just have to locate your video in your folder. And then after that, you just have to simply click on open. Okay, and then as you can see, I can't upload this video right now because I am on the free trial. So you have to take note that in order to upload your video, you have to subscribe to a plan. And then after uploading your video, you just have to simply click on done. And then when we scroll down, you also have the mobile video. So you just have to do the same. Just click on the select video. And then right here for the video URL, you just have to simply copy the link of your YouTube and then just have to paste it here. And then you can also upload your poster image right here. Okay, and then for the next one, so let us try to customize the collection list. So to customize this one, you just have to simply click on this section. And then at the left side, we have here the collection per row for the mobile. So you just have to select one or two. And then for the collection per row, for the desktop, we have up to five, okay? And then if you would like to show the carousel progress bar, you just have to simply click on this box. And then for the subheading, if you want to add a subheading, you just have to simply click on this bar and then type out your subheading. So for example, t-shirts. And of course, for the heading, you just have to simply delete this collection list for it and then just have to simply type out your own heading and then when you scroll down all the way to the bottom we have here the colors so for example you would like to change the color of the background of this section so you just have to simply select your color and then for the rest of the section you just have to simply go through this um settings and then you can start customizing this um impact theme so after that you just have to simply click on save or you can preview this one before saving so you can go through desktop view and the mobile view okay so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye